Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to walk you through the sound design in my new track, Pulse. So without further ado, it sounds just like this. Okay, I forgot to mention in the video that if you want the whole project with the stems, as well as the four other tracks that are in the EP and the tracks, if you don't have Spotify or a streaming service of any kind, all of that is going to be on my Patreon. You could support with just $3 a month, and that's going to include a bunch of sample packs, the stems, and the tracks for every release that I'm putting out each month. And I'm working on some more things to add to the Patreon to make it a little bit more valuable. But so far, there's a ton of samples on there that I think are a steal. So if you want to just get the stems, download everything, and unsubscribe for support that link is below but if not keep watching the video and learn how this bass was designed okay so what you just heard is a little snippet from the drop of the song so i want to walk you through the main bass so as you can see uh we froze it after and that's how we started dialing in how we actually wanted the rhythm of the song to go so i'm just going to go ahead and show you exactly what the main bass is looking like and then we can walk through the processing afterwards so i'm going to go ahead and group the processing here i'm going to turn it off and then i'm going to go ahead and just get into the serum so you can hear what it sounds like so just by itself this is what the bass sounds like So it sounds pretty cool on itself without the effects. If we turn on the effects, it sounds like this. So obviously a lot better. And then we went ahead and froze and flattened that so we can kind of chop it up here and there. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on your sub, go direct out, and then you're gonna dial back your level to 31%. And then you're gonna have an LFO modulate that level. Here I just have like a sharp pluck here and then it kind of ramps up a little bit at the end. This isn't really necessary unless you want the sound to do something else. So in this case, I don't need it since I just froze the sample and then resampled it. But if you want this to sound different, if you wanna use it in your own work, adjust that. It might be cool for some like dubstep when you can slow down the rate and have this LFO do something a little bit cool. From here, we're using this Frieza wavetable. This is in this Mutant Wavetables pack. I believe this is a rocket powered sounds pack, but if you don't have this, a digital wavetable would work okay too. The Evolution or even the Evil Sweep could have some good effects here too. We have a little bit of unison with our unison detune at 0.06. Our blend is at 75, phase in the middle and random all the way up. And then we have our wavetable at 80. We're modulating this about halfway with our LFO. And our warp mode with FM is about the same where our knob is at 21% and we're using our LFO to modulate to about halfway. Level is where it, is where it is when you initialize a preset, so 75%. Moving right, we're using the 4088 wavetable for our FM. We have a level all the way down. All these parameters up top are untouched. We just changed the wavetable to go up. 244 and then we're using the asym minus to give the fm a little bit of a lower kind of register that way the sound sounds a little bit more deep a little bit more aggressive so those are two wavetables that you're going to be using or if you don't have this one experiment with some of those digital wavetables you just want something that's pretty messy pretty spiky like this to give it the characteristic that the sound has this is a pretty good basis too if you want to swap through wavetables to get some more cool sounds for the filter we're using a high 18 filter we just have this going to oscillator a since our oscillator b is turned off kind of all the way down and it's going up maybe about three quarters maybe a little bit past that and then our resonance it's starting maybe about 10 to 11 o'clock and then it's going up about three quarters again pan in the middle drive all the way down fat all the way down mix all the way up again experiment and see if there's anything that you could do to make this sound sound a little bit cooler and if you're copying the sound mess with some of the filters as well to make the sound a little bit more unique for yourself. Moving on to effects. We're using some distortion with the diode one. We have our drive dialed back a little bit behind 50%, again, about 10 o'clock or so, with our mix dialed down as well. And then we're using the post filter here with all the frequencies below 200 being scooped out with the high pass filter. This is just so if there's any low end coming from the sound, it's not competing with our sub. So this is a good thing with any preset if you have a sub built into the preset to use this so there's no muddiness or no competition going on with the sound. After after that we're just using a little bit of the dimension our size is about in the middle and our mix is at 35 percent now that's the basis of the sound again it sounds like this so it sounds cool by itself, but you really do need that processing to make it sound like a more complete bass. Now getting into our actual processing rack, we're using a saturator here with the bass up a little bit. We have soft sign turned on and a soft clip turned on as well. Um, the bass is just up a little bit. This has a little bit of distortion. I believe it just crunches the sound a little bit. So you can get some cool results with that and you can actually make whole growls with it. I'll leave a card up in the corner somewhere so you can see how you could do that but it's pretty cool and adds a nice little touch to the sound some more aggression 
on top of that we're using thermal now i've said it before if you don't have thermal i think thermal is a really useful program to throw into your production it has a lot of cool distortion presets that you can mess around with and if you actually look at how the interface is set up if you just dial in and mess with some of the knobs and some of the shapes in here you can get some really cool effects by just messing around here i'm using the beefy digits preset we have the degrade about three quarters or so, a little bit shy of three quarters, I would say. And then our frequency shift is all the way down with our dry wet at maybe about 75% here. I don't believe I messed with any of the parameters here, but I think I did drag this XY over here. So if you just want to take this and move it over here, if it doesn't already come that way, go ahead and do that to get a similar sound. On top of that, we're using some OTT just to dial in the sound. Um, this is super necessary to really squash those transients that might be peaking past where you want the sound to be, as well as bringing the low end up to really squash the sound and make it sound louder without those transients being the main source of loudness and just overall making the sound sound better. On top of that, we have some overdrive for some top end distortion. We have a dry wet at 9%, dynamics at 21, and our tone is at 28 with drive at 52. Again, just that filter in the top end to add some more sizzle to the sound. And then we're just using a saturator to cap it off. So let's go ahead and turn off each of these instances of effects. And then let's go ahead and just play what the sound sounds like with each of them being turned on in sequence. So here's just with the saturator. Here's with the thermal. Here's with the OTT, here's with the overdrive, and here's with that final saturator just to kind of level everything out after the fact. Now all I did to get this main sound and extrapolate it down here is I went ahead and just froze it, and then we went ahead and we added some more effects to it. So here's what it sounds like again in context. So basically what we did was we froze this, we drug it down, and then we started processing again. So basically what we did was we just took the same effects plus a vocoder, added a vocoder to it to get a little bit of a different characteristic, added another saturate with that bass at four, added another thermal with that beefy digits, same thing over here. Added some more OTT just to really dial in the sound. Another thermal auto filter bass here, along with an OTT, the overdrive, the saturator, and then just a gate when the things get noisy, so it's not bleeding in too much to each section. But that's basically how it took the same sound, resampled it, made it sound a little bit different to kind of carry out through the drop. And it saved me some sound design in terms of actually getting into Serum and messing with parameters. And I think overall, the sound design came out pretty cool in this track. So also, if you want to support me, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and you like the video, and you leave a comment if there's some more sound design that you want to see from any of the other EP tracks, uh, make sure you follow me on Spotify if that is your preferred streaming service at Probably Awake. And if you are on Apple Music, I'm on there as well as any other streaming platform that you want to support me on. Make sure you give me a follow on Spotify. I think we're at 1,500 followers on there, and the EP just came out. So if you want to boost those numbers, that's all. Hopefully you're able to learn something in this video. Hopefully, if you like the sound design, you're able to kind of copy it, tweak it, use it however you'd like. But that's the main sound design of this track. Hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to stream the EP, and we will see you again on the next video.